Welcome back. Burlesque is taking over the Quad Cities this weekend as the first ever Iowa Burlesque Festival premieres at Davenport's Adler Theater with shows tomorrow and Sunday. And one of Burlesque's biggest stars of all time, a lovely woman named Tempest Storm, is in town for that show. A longtime friend of Marilyn Monroe, she's also got a little romantic history with a couple people you have surely heard of. Teaserama stars voluptuous Tempest Storm. That lovely hurricane of delight. Back in the 50s and 60s, a burlesque show wasn't the best burlesque show unless it featured Tempest Storm, who performed in movies and in live shows across Las Vegas, California, and the rest of the country. When I first started, I had to rehearse and rehearse, and I had absolutely great costumes and terrific music and production numbers. In the Quad Cities this weekend for the first ever Iowa Burlesque Festival, the Georgia-born star, now in her 80s, says she's enjoyed seeing burlesque survive and meeting the women who keep it going. They say that I'm a great inspiration to them, and I'm very honored that they think that, that about me. And uh, I think they're doing a great job trying to treat, keep it alive. And this generation's burlesque stars love her and her stories. A close friend of Marilyn Monroe, a girlfriend to the king of rock and roll. Elvis, Elvis. <laughs> I met him in, uh, I think it was 19, uh, 1956. I was appearing at the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. So he sat, came over and sat down. And his most beautiful eyes I've ever looked into it was absolutely fabulous. And we got into a relationship, and it was absolutely fantastic. He was a real Southern gentleman, very polite. She's also been linked to gangster Mickey Cohen and then-Senator John F. Kennedy. I met him when he was a senator for the first time in 1957, and it was a great relationship. He's a great man in his poli politics and everything. And then when we, I hadn't seen him for maybe years, and he became... The last time I saw him, I said, you're going to be president one of these days. And he said, I hope you're right. A star with star power. I was just as powerful as, as these men were. So I didn't take a back seat to them, even though they were powerful men. <laughs> a power and personality she still has decades later. And she told us today that she actually ran into one of Elvis's bodyguards just a few years ago. And he told her that if they had actually stayed together, Elvis might still be alive today as she never smoked, drank, or did drugs and didn't let him either. As for the Iowa Burlesque Festival, a bunch of events downtown all weekend, including shows tomorrow night at the Adler at 6 and 10, and then Sunday at 7. Tickets start at $33 and are available at Ticketmaster.com and the Adler box office.